just getting ready for the day. It is Saturday, March 31st. <laughs> hey, Jackson. Hey. He's waving. He can't see. <laughs> you want to say hey? Say hey. Yeah. Say hey. There you go. Yeah. I see you. something right fast um, topic that I think many people or many women moms whatever deal with and I know that I deal with it all the time literally every time that I go out um, by myself with Jackson it's it's hard it's a struggle because he's only a year old and especially when I go to buy clothes it's like what, what am I gonna do with him and I always just like stick him in the floor because, I mean, even though I hate germs, he's a germaphobe. Um, yeah. Um, I just, I don't know what I'm, su I'm supposed to do. I mean, am I, I mean, really. But anyways, like, that's, that's one of the things that I really struggle with is when I go out to do something, it's like, he, he's there, so I have to, I have to take him with me. I don't have, I don't have a choice, really. Um. And especially when I go to do something for myself, it makes it even more frustrating and hard. You know, I love my child, I do, I really do. But um, it's really hard sometimes. Um, right now these people are watching me vlog, so <laughs> she's probably like, what is she doing? But um, like I said, it's just hard sometimes when you go to do something for yourself, especially um, to go out in public and, and try to buy clothes or just anything. It's, it's so hard. Um, to do anything for yourself, especially when you have kids. Like, I, I give it to the moms that have like five kids, and they do it all on their own, and they go out there and they grocery shop, and they try on clothes, and they do this and that and that. I just, I know Josh, um, I don't know what in the heck I'm gonna do when we have another kid, because I love my child, I, I do, I really do. But let me tell you, I don't know how, I mean, he's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. He is, um, he, he has a temper and it gets the best of him sometimes and he will throw a tantrum. He has done learned how to do that. He has learned that he can get his way if he just throws a fit and he will sit there and he will fake cry and that makes it even worse. Like when I was in bed, I just have gone out of belk. I lied earlier. I said that, um, we was going to go to the park, but I stopped in here because I was going to see if I could find me a dress for Easter, but that did not happen. So I don't know. I guess I'm just going to wear these pants I got, but um we're about to go to the park but i just wanted to to talk to y'all about this because um it's just something that i don't think anyone really understands how hard it is for moms when um we always have to take our kids with us everywhere and like the me time stops once you have that kid like now i do good if I get to take a five minute shower um, twice a week, if even that, like I swear, like sometimes I'm just like, I'm not even gonna, I'm just not even gonna try because you know, that day I just know it's not the day for me to even try and take a shower. So I'm just like, whatever, I'm just gonna go and deal with it. You know what, whatever. And that's just, that's part of it. Like when you have kids, you're pretty much giving up um, your life and you focus on their life, so. But while I was in Belk, um, 
Jackson, um, no baby, quit doing that. Quit. Um, he just, like he done, he done yesterday, he just started throwing a fit. And it was because he kept, he just wants to touch everything. And I think I've already told y'all that. But he literally just kept pulling clothes off the clothes hangers and throwing hangers everywhere. And I'm like, oh my geez, child, like what are you doing? I need to try these clothes on and I can't. And it's just, it's just really hard. And then like when people stare, oh, when people stare, I look at them and I'm like, have you not ever seen someone with a kid before? Like, do you have kids? Like, why are you staring at me? Kids cry. Kids, kids throw fits. Like, it's not the end of the world. Well, it might be the end of the world for my kid at the time, but it's not for an, for an adult. Yeah, and I might be in public, but just because my kid is sitting there throwing a fit or he's upset or something, doesn't mean that I'm gonna leave the store because I'm not. Because it happened to me yesterday and he literally sat there and he cried for like 10 minutes. And he was throwing a fit because he just, he does that sometimes. You know, I can't help that. That's not my fault. But I'm not gonna leave the store just to satisfy you and your whatever. And that's what happened in there. And people's like staring at me and I'm like, what are you looking at? Like, go on somewhere. I really don't care. One thing about me is I have a huge mouth. <laughs> Sometimes I say stuff before I even think. Like me and Josh were totally opposites. He's he's such a good man. He really is. He is um ever since I've met him, he has always been just so genuinely sweet. And um he he don't he, like he's not shy, that's not what I'm saying. But he he is just such a kind man. I, I honestly, when I say this, I've never met a man that has more patience, more understanding, more kindness. He has so much respect for me, and I hands down say this, like, Josh is, is probably one of the best um, men that I have ever met in my life, and I was truly blessed when I met Josh and he came into my life because I really could not be any more luckier to be with him, honestly. He's always been so good to me, and he has so much respect for me. And I'm really blessed with that. I really am. But um, I literally got off topic, topic, talk, talking about Josh. Now I don't even know what I was even talking about, y'all. Okay, anyways, my whole point of this is when you are in public, moms, and someone looks at you, and your kid is throwing a fit, and they're like, can you leave? Or if they're just like looking at you like you need to go on somewhere, or you need to get your child and get, get a hold of them, let me tell you something. Just tell them to shut the, to shut up. Shut up. Or just go on with your business. Who cares? Let them sit there and stare. Because you know what? They'll, they'll, they'll be okay. It is not the end of the world because your kid is crying and throwing a little fit. It will be over. It's not the end of the world. It's not disturbing them. They're not having to deal with it. You are. They're, they're not the ones dealing with it. They can go on with their day and not have to worry about it. So the next time you're out and if you... You are having a problem, moms, and anyone is just staring at you while your kids are on fit. I promise you, because this not happened to you yet, it will. I promise, because it happens to me all the time. But I just go on with my business. I've learned to just go on, because kids are going to be kids. And that's one of the things that you have to learn about when you become a mom. It's just to deal with it. People are going to say stuff. They're going to look at you wrong. They're going to try to tell you you need to do this, you need to do that, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, um, you are the mom, and you know what you're doing. So don't worry about what anybody else thinks. And um, I just wanted to tell you all that because this is pretty much what I tell myself in my head to keep me going because sometimes... Um, People just make me so mad. The world is so mean. They really are. People can be so cruel and, and and to say stuff to hurt you and it's so mean. So for any of you out there that people just, just do something when you're out with your kids in public and it just upsets you, just don't worry about it because you're doing a good job and that's all that matters. So thank y'all for watching this video. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know. Say bye, baby. Say bye. Okay. Say bye. No, you don't say bye. So I guess we're gonna go to the park and um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to let y'all know what I thought about that because I just can't stand rude people. I just really can't stand rude people. So thanks. Hey guys, we just have got to the park. Say hey. Um, I'm actually going to try and take some pictures of Jackson for Easter. I brought our camera with us, but I can't go this way.
was that? Guys, let's just take a minute and look how cute Jackson is. Even though he has to have his blanket for his pictures. Just say hey, baby. Say hey. He don't want to say hey. He's, he's actually been doing pretty good though. So. Okay, trying to do pictures was a total fail. He <laughs> literally, yeah, he's so happy now because he's on the um, steering wheel. But, um, it was a fail. I got some pictures, but I don't know really how they turned out. We will just see, I guess, when I look at them tonight and try to edit them. I don't know, though. It was terrible. He literally just wanted to just throw a fit. But it was because he was having to sit still, and he was not doing what he wants to do, like he's doing now. So, he's happy when he's doing what he wants. But, um... I come back to the car so I could change him and bring um, his trike and camera to the camera in the back of the car because I'm not going to take that into the play area. I'm going to go to the play area and see maybe if he was swing or something because we haven't really been here too long because um, I don't know what time it is. It's probably four something so, um, so I guess we will just see if he wants to play. Got done playing in the park. Jackson actually enjoyed it pretty good, but my, my windshield wipers are on because of Jackson. Um, but my camera is on one percent, so that's pretty much yeah all I can say because it's gonna die. So, but we have fun at the park, and we're gonna go home because he is in desperate need of a nap. It is um 5:13 right now, so um that is pretty much it for the park. Um, we played maybe for. 20 minutes and he actually enjoyed it we went down the slide some stuff too actually why is my trunk my trunk is always open because of jackson hitting my buttons all right um <laughs> i'm gonna go because he's having a breakdown and i need to get out and um check my trunk i'm at mcdonald's i have a dollar so i don't have to break any change and i want to get a dr pepper because your girl needs a dr pepper because all I have is leftover Wendy's Dr. Pepper and it tastes like total water and it's disgusting. And Josh hates when I do this when I just go to, gosh, Jackson's going to start crying because we were stopped. Um, but Josh literally hates when I do this. I will always like come to McDonald's and just get um, a dollar drink because they're a dollar because I don't like keeping Pop in the house. But he gets so mad when I do this. Um, I just want to get a large Dr. Pepper and that'll be all. Alright, thank you. Maybe two weeks ago, because it wasn't three three weeks ago is a really long time. Um, 
And, uh, I can't do this. Alright, um, I can't. I, I need to go home and go back to bed. Uh, my car is so dirty now. It was literally so clean, and I literally, I'm worse for this. I will just get something and I'll just, like, throw it in the floor. I just have trash everywhere. And you can see uh, Jackson's car seat is, I hope, why I thought it was be. Jackson's car seat, um, baby car seat, still in the car, and I need to get that out actually when we get home. This is actually some really good lighting. Good, hurry. Thank you. You too, thank you. Y'all hear my power steering? Power steering. Oh my god, I hate it's freaking. I mean, my car's been good. I've had it for two years. I got it in October of 2015, and this is my first car. Um, I, I mean, I paid for it. Well, I mean, I paid payments on it, but it's my first car like I got on my own. It's in my name, um, which my mom did co sign for me, but my name is on the title too, and I mean, it's, it's my car. I mean, so, but I hate the power steering. It needs a new power. I got a new power steering pump. Thank you, have a good day. Of course, I have nowhere to put this. Um, but I have got a, what are you doing, truck? Like, what are you doing? Go, dude, go, what are you doing? Stupid. Okay, now what is this dude doing? Like, I'm going, you can just freaking hold on a second. I can't even, I can't deal with people that cannot drive. Anyways, um, this is going to die, like, I don't know how it's even still going. Um, but I got a new, whenever I first got my car, there was nothing wrong with it, but, um, when I test drove it, we could tell that it needed a new power steering pump or whatever, so the place that I got it from, um, wow! The place that I got it from um, paid for me to take it to the, because I didn't want to have to um, drive, because I got it in Greensboro, so I didn't want to have to drive to all the way back to Greensboro um, after my car, um, after I bought it to get my car back again, so I was like, I'm not doing that, and I was like, well, whatever, we can work this out for where you can get it done before a place. I was like, okay, cool, great, because I'm not coming back to Greensboro to get my freaking car, and, um, so I got to take my car home the night that I bought it, and, um, so I had to take it to the four place where I live in Mount Airy, and, um, get it fixed, blah, blah whatever I did. Well, the, it's it's still messed up. Like, and I don't understand, like, if it needs another pump or if it's just something else. Like, I really do not understand what's wrong with it. But it always makes that freaking sound, and it's so annoying. And then, like, we will put fluid in it. It's not that it's low on fluid. It's just that it makes that stupid noise. And then it gets to where it's hard for where I can even turn my steering wheel. Sometimes, like, oh my god, one day me and Nicole was at the license plate agency or whatever below our house. Um, for her to, or no, it was for me. I was getting something, I think, for Josh. I can't remember. But, um, I could not even get out of the parking lot because the parking lot was already small as it was. But I literally could not even get out of the freaking parking lot because of my freaking steering. Like, it was, this, this, this is not even meant to be right now. Um, but it's just, it was really bad. Like, I literally had to do, like, so many backups and everything while I was in the parking lot. It was just. I just totally lost my train of thought. This guy's out here taking pictures of some random building. I'm not really sure why he's doing that. But I guess whatever. You know, I got this freaking Dr. Pepper, y'all, and it. I didn't even take a drink, but. No, that's so good.
guys, I just wanted to um, say this is pretty much going to be it for this vlog today. Jackson um, woke up probably about 30 minutes ago from his nap. Um, after we got home, he was passed out. I showed y'all he was sleeping on the couch, but uh, he finally woke up and decided he wanted to wake up and be a wild boy. And he's so mad because he wants my, uh, my laptop and um, my camera. So... Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to say thank y'all so much for watching my vlog so far. Um, you think you need to see yourself? Can you say hey? Say hey. Hey. Yeah. Say hey. Alright, anyways, I just wanted to say thank y'all so much for the support already from everyone that has watched me. And comments even though it's only been a few people so far I am just starting out at this so I know it's gonna take me a little bit to get there but um, I just do want to thank y'all all so much for the support so far because I'm definitely not one to just speak out and film myself but uh, I really appreciate the support I really do for anyone that watches my videos and um, you take the time out of your day to actually do that it means the world because I mean you're taking time out of your day to watch what I do so. but if you haven't already please subscribe um, it would really mean a lot and give this video a thumbs up if you like this vlog thanks so much guys